While you're here, you shall rule all that lives and moves, and shall have the greatest rights among the deathless gods. Those who defraud you and do not appease your power with offerings, reverently performing rites, and paying fit gifts, shall be punished forevermore. Artemis told me you'd be finished around this time. I texted you. But you didn't text me back. You don't seem very surprised. Hello? Is anyone home in there? Hmm? Hmm. Apollo, what happened last night? Hmm? That can't happen again. What are you talking about? I didn't enjoy it. Uh, uh, of course you did. I was tired and I don't think I was in the right headspace. I... You need to relax. <gasps> Look, we just need to practice. Practice? Artemis isn't going to be back at your place for another hour or so. I was thinking... I'm supposed to be a sacred virgin! I guess you should have thought about that before you had sex with me. I mean, why stop now? Mm. Let me get this straight. You found out when my classes were. You turn up uninvited. You did this because you knew Artemis would be out. And you were hoping to what? Fool around, I guess? When you say like that, it sounds bad, Percy. My name isn't Percy. Please pull over. I want to get out. Calm down. You make it sound like I'm a bad guy. I said pull over. You're being ridiculous. Let's talk about it. Stop this car! <laughs> You've got to be joking. <laughs> Stay in the car until I work out how to handle this. I realize this must be very scary for someone such as yourself. But don't worry, I've got this. What are you doing? Come here. I know it's hard, but you need to calm down. That's it. What a good boy you are. Persephone, you should get in the car. <laughs> oh no, he seems to hate you. Um, what, what should I do? Can you grab my backpack? It has my homework in it. Come on, I need my backpack. <laughs> to make sure he goes home. You should get in the car. Get in the car, Apollo. Uh, I guess I'll see you around. I guess. I'm not very hungry, so you can have my lunch. Here. Next time Hades gives you a timeout, you can just hang out with me instead. I'm just going to read over my notes, but you're welcome to sit with me. You know, I kind of want to buy a laptop. 
This one has the best processor, but this one comes with a pink cover. See? There, very handsome. Remember, you're not just a good boy. You're my good boy. I assume you know how to get back to the underworld by yourself. And where have you been? What the? It's rude to spy. May I come in? Certainly not, but you may continue to lurk. <sighs> Splendid one. This life that others have planned for you. And I suppose you have a plan for me also. Why do you pretend to be sustained by a meek life? What do you know of me? I know that I can smell your ambitions as they rot at your feet. Another dream. What was that about? Oh, I feel so nervous. It's fine, it's only Hades. Maybe I should tell him that I'm coming? I don't really want to turn my phone back on. I can't imagine how Apollo took yesterday. Why is he always here? What are you doing here? I'm eating breakfast. Don't you have food at your own house? I want to talk to you about some of the things you said. Apollo, I don't have time to talk to you. Come at you little ingrat. <gasps> mm. Are you guys okay? You look so cute! <laughs> I'm still not sure how I feel about you working in the underworld, though. What do you mean she's working in the underworld? That's completely inappropriate. It's a little unorthodox, but it's Harold's direct order. Direct orders. <sighs> well, at the very least, could you wear something more conservative in the Company of Hades? Aww. Do you have a little crush on my roommate? <sighs> Stop it. She's not up for grabs. I'm gonna head off. I'd like to make it to the train station before 8.30. I could give you a ride. No! Uh. I'd prefer to walk. Helps me clear my head, you know? Okay then. Good luck for today. Yes. Good luck. Don't let him rattle you. <whistles> oh my, it's very crowded. Huh. Sorry, princess, but I'm late for my meeting. Wings! But you've got wings! You lazy bones! Hey. Hey. Hey! <gasps> oh, hi. What's up with you? None of your business. Is he free? Hold on. I have the god of death here for you. Tell Thanatos to fuck off. <laughs> Go on up. He's in a really good mood today. Hey, boss. How's it? Hanging. You're late. I know, but... You think your time's more important than mine? Take a seat. I read over the proposal for your salary review. 
I contracted Hermes to help you with your workload. You've been letting your productivity slip ever since he started! <coughs> That's bullshit! You think so? I've got your numbers. Uh, uh, really? Let's go through them, shall we? Uh. Whoa, it's so big! Here we go! Hey, lady! Can you move your ass out of the doorway? Sorry! Level 99, please. Thank you! Oh, my. She's so beautiful and thin. Other door! Wait. Is that the girl from the article? <laughs> what is she doing here? Um, hello. I'm supposed to meet with Hades. And you are? My name's Persephone. Well, kid, you don't have an appointment. I- You can't just see the king of the underworld whenever you'd like. He's very busy. Does he have any time free today? No! Hmm. You didn't even look at your computer. I don't need to. But Hera told me I had to see him. I can't leave until I do. I see. Okay, so he's probably doing the round right about now. If you head to this location, you should be able to catch him. Really? Thank you. You better hurry. Uh, oh, right. Bye! <laughs> it's so much colder here. It says restricted access. But, but but if that lady said to come here, I'm sure it's fine. Hmm. Hello? Who? <laughs> Hades? work. See how Hermes collected 230 souls last month? See how your piece of the pie is really tiny? <laughs> Minty, can you please read that last part back? <sighs> this is so stupid. <gasps> There's been a security breach in the Tartarus! How is that even possible? I'll put on the live feed, then we'll know if it's a false alarm! Good idea!
Now, don't move! Corey! What are you doing? I don't want you to see me cry again. It's just been a rough couple of days, you know? I messed up big time! Corey, this isn't your fault. It's mine. Emmy, Basileos, Apaisios. to the cold. Here, I've got your shoe. I lost my coat. I can reimburse you for the coat. It's got my brooch my mom gave me. And I had some paperwork with me. If I get someone else to find those things, will you stop worrying and come back to the office? Mm. Promise. It's just costume jewelry, but it's still important to me. Let's go back then. Hmm? Where are you going? Huh? Back to the main entrance. Oh, well, I thought we could take the scenic route. this morning. She's the daughter of a friend of Hades. She's not just the daughter of a friend of Hades. Hmm? Hmm? She's a descendant of the Six Traitors Dynasty. She's the only daughter of Demeter. Smile pretty for the photographer, sweetheart. <laughs> and heiress to the Bali Mother Fortune. Her net worth is huge. And you cut her off in front of the station. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, wait! What? The... Fuck! This is weird. 
It's good to be warm again, though. My chest feels really tight. Maybe Eros was right. Is this what having a crush feels like? I wish I'd had one before so I can know I'm having one right now. I guess it's okay not to know. For now, I can just enjoy looking at his dorky face. Are you alright in there? I I'm f fine, thank you! Okay, <laughs> but you know, you're kind of just accident prone. <laughs> hmm. Every time she's around me, she ends up getting hurt. But the way she looked at me... Oh, don't be an idiot. Even if there was the smallest chance, she did want me. She's still too young, and I'm still a complete mess. I don't want to ruin her with my emotional bullshit. It wouldn't be fair. The sooner she can get away from me, the better. Um, excuse me? Don't you have a gateway to guard? I see I'm old news, huh? <coughs> Cerberus, would you cut that out? My goodness, you're so clever! Come here! Uh. Mm. Get your shit together. Hmm? So sorry for interrupting. With all the commotion, I didn't even notice what she was wearing. Is it my hair? It goes frizzy when it air dries. Sorry. N no, no, I, I, <laughs> I was just lost in thought. Uh, please take a seat. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could use this for your hair. I'm not sure if I should have something like this. Come on, it's the least I can do after what happened this morning. What was that place? Who were those creatures? Uh, that was Tartarus. It's where we keep the more problematic shades. Typically, the ones you came across are dormant. Huh? But they felt threatened by you since they're dead. And you're a fertility goddess? Pal, I'm no fertility goddess! Oh, um, sorry, I shouldn't have assumed. I... If I were a fertility goddess, my mother would have told me. Right, right, of course, my mistake. You're probably wondering why I came. I won't lie, I'm a little surprised to see you here. This is actually for you. Oh, for me? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Persephone. I'm sorry, but this is out of the question. Huh? No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Who is responsible for this? Hera. Fucking Hera. I'm sorry, but this is out of the question. What? But, but why? You were here for all of two seconds, and you were nearly strangled. But that wasn't my fault, I... Uh, uh, I'll talk to Hera and make new arrangements for you. If I can't manage this on my own, what will Hera think of me? No, but I need this job. Listen, I'll tell Hera you did the internship. I'll pay you the salary. And you can just do something else with your time. I can't just not do the work. Little goddess, I said no. <laughs> the underworld is not an appropriate place for one such as yourself. Uh, think. Don't just wuss out. I I'll 
play for it. Mm. What? You play, right? If I lose, I will take no for an answer. If I win, you have to give me a job. Did you forget I'm king here? This is not negotiable. If we do this, do you promise to accept the outcome? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Mm. I've played a lot. Then I guess my wager shouldn't be a threat to you. Oh, I like the one that looks like a horse. <laughs> mm. <sighs> fine, fine. Do you want a practice round? Nah. You want me to go over the rules? No, I think I've got it. <laughs> Tell me, why does the heiress to the barely mother fortune want a job from the king of the underworld? Surely you have money. Hmm. My mother has money. That doesn't mean I do. For a mortal, what good is being an heiress? Are you sure you want to move your rook there? Hmm. I mean, what a cute little castle that is! My mother says it's better if I learn how to make my own way. And I don't disagree. Don't get me wrong, I love her very much. And living away from her is terrifying. But I'm also excited to be my own person. I don't want to be known as Demeter's daughter. I want to be Persephone. That's checkmate. Hmm. You... you hustled me. Serves you right for underestimating me. You were sloppy. You're probably used to people letting you win. <laughs> sure I can't tempt you with cash? You have to accept the outcome. <sighs> a deal's a deal. I guess I better think of a role for you. Is that... Is that snow? I've never seen it before. It's too warm in the mortal realm. Can we go to the roof? I want a better look. No! Are you in a perpetual state of wanting shit that's bad for you? Please? Hmm. Five minutes, tops. I'm in a lot of trouble. Thank you all for joining me for this impromptu announcement. I'm sure some of you are itching to head home. As you all know, every year we get to exchange one intern from the Underworld with one from Olympus. A gesture which helps build unity between the two realms. We are very lucky to receive a candidate who happens to be an esteemed member of the Olympus family. I'd like to present someone who needs no introduction, but is going to get one anyway. Give a warm welcome to our newest intern, Persephone, the goddess of spring. Since when did interns receive all staff formal introductions? That was so embarrassing! Stop laughing! 100%! 100% scoundrel! But you deserve an introduction, fitting of your recent victory. Someone should add sore loser to that business card of yours. Oops, sorry. I probably shouldn't say stuff like that to you since you're gonna be my boss now, huh? Ahem! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Minty. Have the two of you met officially? She hasn't told on me yet? No, I don't think I've had the pleasure. What is she doing? I don't 
get it. This is Minthy. She's my personal assistant. This is Persephone. Persephone. Yes, I've got it. I've been meaning to catch up with you today. Hmm. But you seem to have your hands full. Hmm. Hmm. Would you excuse us, please? Her? You're gonna... Like I said, she's just... She's the same girl from the article! Ooh. And what in the hell did I do? Are you serious? Fine! Come on, Persephone, let's go. But what about... Nothing you need to worry about. Thanks for giving me a ride home. <laughs> it's fine. I like driving. Although, uh, there's something I have to talk to you about, Persephone. Hmm? It's really common for these vultures to follow my family and me around. I should have been more careful. I, I'm sorry. Hmm. I must admit, I got a kick out of this version of me they've cooked up. The real thing is far less interesting. Well, luckily my mother won't see it due to her location, but aside from that, I think it's a nice photo of us. You're not mad? <laughs> Where's your sense of wrath? Anyone whose opinion matters to me knows that this is just garbage. <laughs> You're soft, huh? What's wrong with being soft? Don't forget that you're my girl. Daddy's had a very stressful day. And you! You made me glimpse her and her underthings! <laughs> underthings! You're grounded! Dog grounded! <sighs> <sighs> what a disaster. I don't want to have these feelings. I want to go back to last week. I wasn't good, but at the very least, I wasn't this confused. I can't believe she was here just a few days ago. Okay. 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 It's not that bad. It's really not. I'm an immortal being with unspeakable powers and immeasurable reach. Surely I can control my feelings and maintain my dignity. She's not that great. She just makes me feel all warm and snuggly inside when I think about her. Do I even like feeling warm and snuggly? Who does she think she is making me feel warm and snuggly? If anything, I should be mad at her! How dare she! And yet... She's really easy to talk to and makes me forget about where I am and what I should be doing. She doesn't seem to give a crap about our social structure, so she's not afraid of me. Which is refreshing. I thought that I was okay with getting the stink eye from 90% of the population. But I'm not. I thought I understood myself. Maybe I don't. Her ass even looks like an upside-down heart. Ah! Why is Hera doing this to me? It must be some elaborate joke at my expense. 
Your sexual frustration is so entertaining! I can't be a 2,000-year-old man with a crush on a 19-year-old. Okay, I'm gonna stop having a crush on her in... One... Two... Three... Damn it! How do I stop this? She's basically perfect. But nobody's perfect. There has to be something wrong with her. No results, of course. There's something on the back of her application? Academic transcript, huh? Let's see. Man, what an overachiever. Overall winner chess, Olympus championship, three times running. Junior swimming, Olympian swimming champion. Mathematics champion. TGOEM scholarship? Oh yeah, that Kate mentioned she had a scholarship. TGOEM. The goddesses of eternal maidenhood live a life devoted to the service of others. Newest recipient of the t <laughs> And I asked her if she was a fertility goddess. I'm such a fucking moron. Did I misread this whole situation? I need to smoke. Where's my lighter? Hayes must have a lighter somewhere. Huh? Oh no. No, 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 no! doing this we both agree that neither of us were relationship material this is getting way out of hand we're not even in a public relationship on fate's book how can he be considering marriage i can't be queen it's too much pressure No idea how to do diplomatic shit. I still can't work out which one is the salad fork. I don't need Hera reminding me that I'm trash at every single family event. I know I'm trash already. How do I fix this? <sighs> He just needs a strong push in the opposite direction. Just be the bitch. That's what everyone expects anyway. Finally home! <sighs> hmm? Ah! Did they actually Eat together? <laughs> Sliding into your man's DMs. <gasps> I don't care! I don't care! I don't care! It's not like we're exclusive. He's not my boyfriend or anything. I didn't want to marry him. Why do I care? So why do I feel... 
Don't panic. He can, if he starts dating her, doesn't mean what we said is over. Unless, maybe she'll want all of him to herself. And maybe he'll, he'd like that. I lost my house key. I, I know I messed up with the party, okay? It's just a lot of pressure, you know? This is your fault to begin with. I'm better than I actually am. God, I don't even know why I'm here! adjusted with her? Please, Hades, please don't leave me behind. I don't know what we have, but I'm not ready for it to be over. Why aren't you saying anything? Say something! Dear Persephone, My therapist assigned me to the exercise of writing letters of what I would hypothetically tell others about what I'm feeling. Apparently doing this will help me unpack my emotions and gain a greater understanding of myself. <sighs> Gods, why do I pay that hack? Luckily, I never have to show anybody these letters, so I guess it doesn't hurt to try. This feels ridiculous to admit, given that I've only known you for four days. But I have feelings for you. I haven't been in love before. I always assumed that being in love would be something that would happen slowly over time. Not all at once. The thing is, I don't really know you. I don't know what your favorite food is, or the top ten things you hate. I don't know if you're a morning person, or if you like sleeping in for hours. Love isn't something I know a lot about. But I believe I should understand you much more than I currently do, before claiming to be in love with you. I don't think you can be in love with someone you don't know. I'm just infatuated with you. You have indulged my numerous advances with unparalleled kindness and grace. I'm terrified because your attention makes me feel so good. The concept of not being able to feel that way again is devastating. I have a lot of shame in regards to feeling like this about you. That's a lot to put on someone who is so young. It goes without saying, I have a lot of baggage. I get the feeling that if we were friends, you would go out of your way to help me. Even if it was to your own detriment, I wouldn't want that for you. The best gift I can give you is to put some space between us. Which is why I'm going to give Minthy and I a chance to be in a proper relationship. I don't know if I want her or if I just feel guilty. The difference between you and her is that she needs me. 
but you don't. You have your own community. Who cares for you and has your best interests in mind? You have your own goals. Your own life. I said that you were melancholic. This is still the case, but I can tell that you're tough as well. If you're the daughter of Demeter, you'll be tough. I wish I could empty a drawer in my dresser for you. It ends up hurting you. Ultimately, you're better off if I limit my contact with you. Which will be hard, since I'm your boss now. But I'll try my best to keep you safe in my own way. All the best, Hades. P.S. How does a goddess go from being called Cory to Persephone? I still feel like garbage! That's what I get for trusting my therapist. In the drawer you go. I think it's about time I dealt with this. Nobody slights the goddess of spring and gets away with it. Hey, boss. It's been a while. Hey, boss, it's been a while. Electo, yes, I... Someone's knees need a crack in. Th that's not... Need something stolen? Listen. Finally gonna take my sister on a date? <gasps> What's he saying? Shh. <laughs> Don't interrupt, it's rude. Hades? I need you to track someone down for me. Track down? <laughs> That's a little beneath us, don't you think? Damn, that's unsavory. Fine, you can rough him up a little. I'm sending you something. Hmm. I want you to find out who took that photo. Then take them to the abandoned ice cream factory downtown. You look like such a dork! His <laughs> face! He looks like a dusty ass dad! <laughs> look, just let me know when you find them! Uh. I don't look old. I look distinguished. Ugh, this is so boring! Oh, come on, it's not so bad. Uh, you're only saying that because you're not paying attention. I am, it's called multitasking. You've been awfully quiet today. <laughs> She's sulking. I am not. It should have been me. I'm sorry, but I just don't think Hades is into you. I have proof, facts, documentation. You need to stop it with that book. You just have it on you? 12th of December, 12.40 p.m., employee staff room. It's hard to look away when she gets like this. Good morning. Oh, silly me. Good afternoon. Okay, then. August 25th, 3 p.m., Tower 1 Elevator. Hmm. <laughs> oh! Ugh. Excuse me. He gave me all these signals, and I really thought we had something going on. Megara, those are not signals. Shh. That's our mark. Yep, that's the photographer. Now remember, 
Don't hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Just rough him up a little. Morning, Alex. Hey, Tori. Oh, I really wanted to ask my roommate if he was responsible for that article. Have have a nice day. Will do. But I hate confrontation. Uh. Hey, Tori, are you ready to study? Um, yep. So, Minthy. That's an interesting turn of events. You know already? Please, I know everything. Plus, Minthy put it on Fate's book. I thought you'd be happy with my decision. Are you? Wait, I, I thought you didn't approve of Persephone and, and me. I, I mean, I... I was upset when I thought you used my young friend for casual sex. Can you blame me? No. I don't want to interfere. You're a big boy who's capable of making big boy choices. Mm. You clearly have feelings for her, though. Is, is it really that obvious? You're wearing a pink pocket square. Do you think I made the wrong choice? Oh, honey, I've got no idea. Just remember, it's okay to stop and take a breath. I want you to have this. Romance aside though, don't be afraid to get to know her. You might be surprised. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Give it some time, yeah? Like I said, it's okay to take a breath. All right. <laughs> You guys have me tied up in a warehouse, and you're having a fucking heart-to-heart?! -heart? <laughs> Shall we get started? Sure. Salutations. I'm Hecate. My client and I would like to speak to you in regards of your crimes against the underworld. C crimes Number one! Defamation of character. I don't know if you realize this, but that nymph isn't a nymph. She's a goddess. Not only that, she's one of the goddesses of eternal maidenhood. So your garbage-shaped publication could be rather damaging for her. Number two! Trespassing. You had the gall to come on my private property and gazed upon her with your beady little eyes. Number three! Violation of hospitality. She was a guest in my realm, under my protection! That being the case, under Clause LB of the Olympus Underworld Peace <laughs> Treaty, my client can punish you as he sees fit. <laughs> Let me get a good look at you! Please, stop! I'm sorry! You know what they say. An eye for an eye. for Persephone is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Hey. Hey, are you alright? Uh, I got chewed out by Hestia yesterday. She has completely overreacted to that stupid tabloid and confiscated Persephone's coat. Really? I mean, really? Um, maybe she was right to be angry. Excuse me? I just get the feeling Persephone's not taking her duties very seriously. Listen, I didn't want to say anything, but... I was driving by her house yesterday and I saw them together. Who? 
Come on, who do you think? They were all over each other. She's just friendly by nature. Are you sure? Listen, I'm not trying to upset you. I just don't want to see my sister getting taken advantage of. <sighs> Persephone, I think we should go to work together. Oh, stupid. Percy, if you go to work with me, you won't need to pay for a train ticket. <sighs> That's even worse! <sighs> okay, okay, fuck it. Knock, 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 knock. Uh? Hello? Oh, Hermes! Persephone, I know you have work this afternoon, and I also have work this afternoon. And I was thinking we could go together. Hmm? Oh, really? That would be great. Come on in. Hmm. I just need to finish getting ready. I hope you don't mind waiting around. So, how long have you been contracting in the Underworld for? On and off for a few years now. Apollo doesn't know what he's talking about. Of course Persephone's taking her commitment seriously. If I'm being honest, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing when I get there. Hey, Artemis! Hermes! <gasps> Why are you here? What? What's happening? Oh, Artemis, it's fine. Hermes has seen me naked a bunch of times. Are you having a nice bath, my perfect, beautiful angel child? Yes, Mama! Alright, I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all true! Hermes, go wait out front. Huh? Y yes ma'am! Artemis, what's the matter? Persephone, you can't just invite guys over whenever you feel like it. There are rules. Well, Apollo seems to be here all the time, so I just assumed it was one of those rules that's not really a rule, you know? Hmm? Huh? I need to talk to you about Hades. I told you already, Artemis, you don't have anything to worry about. I know you think he's super fancy or whatever, but you need to face the facts. Those kings are all the same. They chew you up and spit you out. But- I've seen it happen over and over again. I'm serious. Like I said, you don't have anything to worry about. Persephone? I know you were on the phone with him for over four hours the other night. Oh, that I, uh, um... And now by some coincidence, you have a brand new job in the underworld. I'm sticking my neck out for you. But lately, I've been getting the feeling you're not taking this arrangement very seriously. Mm. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Where is this coming from? <sighs> Apollo said he saw you and Hades together the other day, and that you were looking pretty chummy. Apollo? <sighs> Apollo saw Hades and I together the other day, and thought we looked pretty chummy. Don't be upset, he's just looking out for you. And to be honest, I'm a bit concerned as well. You know what? Let me tell you something about your brother! You know what? Let me tell you something about your brother! What about my brother? What am I supposed to tell her? Uh, I don't even know what to tell myself. I don't want to hurt her. Ah, um, nothing. I'm sorry. I don't want to be late for work! Wait, Persephone! We can talk more about this later. right to be jealous, but I still can't help feeling it. Hmm? Persephone! Hecate! It's
It's been way too long. You're a sight for sore eyes. Mm -hmm. Where's Hades? I thought I was meeting with him. Oh, he's caught in a meeting, so you're stuck with this old gal? That's fine with me. Come on, I'll show you what you'll be doing. Remember to speak quietly. Welcome to the library. The library? What are they writing? They record the lives of every single mortal as it happens. Each scroll represents one mortal life. Really? I know. Isn't it amazing? So when a mortal is born, a new scroll is started. Hmm. What happens when they die? Well, then the scroll needs filed away in the library. That's where you come in. Me? Most mortals live very unremarkable lives. So when they become shades, they can be retrained for basic labor roles. It's not always straightforward though. Some mortals are very good, and some are very, very bad. It goes without saying, death can be complicated. <sighs> but everyone should get a fair trial with the King of the Underworld. But he stole my cow! No! He stole my cow! Sweet Zeus. You'll be assisting Thanatos and Hermes with gathering information for certain trials. B really You'd trust me with that? Of course. It should be a breeze for you. <sighs> oh, I gotta take this. Why don't you go for a walk around? Get your bearings. Mm-hmm. Persephone. How are you? <laughs> Busy. Hmm? Hey, I'm glad I ran into you. I made you something. I don't really have any money to buy you something fancy, but you've been so helpful with everything and I just wanted to give you something. Here, it's a baklava. Hmm. Sorry, but I, I, I can't accept that. Don't be silly. Of course you can. Hmm. My apologies. I can't accept gifts from employees. It's not a good look. So you can give me gifts, but I can't give you anything? That's stupid. Oh, hey. Not at work, please. Mm. Hmm? Oh! I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Did you see those updates I made on your calendar? Not yet. I've had a very busy morning. Well, don't forget to look. It was a nightmare to rearrange. Mm. Oh, that's me. What a cute container. So homely. Like something my mom would have. Later, Big Blue. <laughs> He was just humoring me before. He doesn't want your stupid food. Dumb village girl. You make a beautiful couple. You must be happy. Hmm. 
I... Oh, hey ya! Hmm. Hey, is everything all right? <laughs> Just first aid, Jitters. <laughs> oh, um, why don't you have this? <gasps> is this what I think it is? Mm-hmm. I used Hestia's baklava recipe, but I made a few little alterations. <laughs> Don't tell her, though. You know how she gets about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good! I feel like you've really outdone yourself this time. Mm -hmm. No, none for you, lazy bones. Mm, that's probably a little too harsh. Okay, okay, you can have one. Yay! Okay, fine. Two. Ah! There you are. I was just going over your paperwork, and I see you haven't included a copy of your driver's license. Oh, <laughs> that's because I don't have one. Excuse me? Huh? Huh? You drove my car! Ah! <laughs> what do you mean she got to drive your car? You won't even let me touch your car. Does this mean I can borrow your car this afternoon? Mm. Uh, for reasons. Don't ask the question if you don't want the answer. Explain. I, I know how to drive. I just don't have a license. Mm. You can't drive without a license! <laughs> how can I possibly get into any trouble with you? The king of the underworld is my escort. Mm. Here you go. When you're done being snippy, you can eat that. Huh? You can't just smooth over your blatant disregard of bureaucracy with... with... with baked goods. This is just getting more awkward. It's not a big deal. I read about it in a book once and it wasn't that hard. Uh... You told me you were an excellent driver. Uh, I may have fudged the truth a little. So, I guess we're even. Uh, mm. Oh, shit. I double booked myself. Hades, would you please guide Persephone through the rest of the tour? Hmm? Uh. Can someone else do it? I'm busy. <laughs> What are you doing? Hmm? Hello, Minthy. Uh. Hi! No, 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 no! Could you move Hades' calendar around? He's taking Persephone on a tour right now. What?! Ah! Thank you so much! Bye! She said it's fine. <laughs> I sincerely doubt that. It wouldn't kill you to put your diplomacy cap on. The optics will be excellent. Since when did I need excellent optics? Remember, she could have been seriously hurt the other day, so we as a kingdom better make up for it. We need to get to the bottom of that. I still don't understand how she even got there in the first place. <laughs> Big hint. Why don't you try asking her? I don't know if I'm the appropriate- Look, just take the damn Bali Mother Eris on a tour. Hmm. Persephone, come over here. C coming hmm. I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of a fearless leader. Great choice of words. Thank you. Just remember to stop by the support office and get your photo taken. Okay. Right, hopefully I can remember where it is. I'll see you guys later! I didn't take you for the matchmaking type. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just doing what's best for the Kingdom of the Underworld. <laughs> Do you think they have any clue what they look like? Hmm? <laughs> nope. Big steps. 
Hades? Mm. I know you're mad with me right now, but could you please walk a little slower? I'm having trouble keeping up with you. <laughs> Why? Sorry about the car. It's just that it's been a while since I've had fun. I know, that's not really an excuse. I get it if you want me to leave. Uh, she's like me. She always catches me off guard. Mm. Huh? J just get your driver's license. Hmm? Mm. I'm sorry. F for walking too fast. That's okay. What do you think of Tower One? Mm. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna get lost. It's a bit of a labyrinth. You'll get used to it. It's just a matter of finding out where you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> Persephone, goddess of spring. Mm -hmm. Would you care to comment on your relationship status with the king of the underworld for the Daily Oracle? Mm -hmm. Do you wish to comment on your relationship status with the king of the underworld? Mm -hmm. Got, uh, quite a grip, don't ya? Is she... Is she angry? <laughs> Please don't grab me. I've been grabbed several times this week, and I don't care for it. <laughs> you're, uh... You're, uh, kinda hurting me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> right. Can I get a statement? Huh? Hey, pal! Fuck off! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Hmm? <clears throat> As you know, the king of the underworld has close ties with my mother, Demeter. So, he's being very generous with this time and showing me his beautiful city. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I was hoping for something a little more spicy. Hmm. I guess the grandmas will like reading about it. <sighs> hmm. Oh, can uh, I take a photo? <coughs> hmm. I guess that would be fine. Are you sure you're okay with being photographed with me? Don't feel like you have to. What? I... Shut up. We're ready. <laughs> Say cheese. I'm just taking pictures. Relax. <laughs> Persephone? <laughs> We're finished here. Weird. S sorry, the flash just made me dizzy, that's all. Dizzy? Do you want to go home? I'm fine, just embarrassed, really. Can I ask you something? Sure. Were you getting angry before? <clears throat> well, um, uh... <gasps> you were angry! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're enjoying this way too much. You know you're allowed to get angry, right? Thank you for your permission, your royal majesty. <laughs> I would have loved to see you lay into him. I'm glad the prospect of my wrath delights you, but I'm not a king. I can't just do whatever suits me. Hmm. I don't always get to do what I want, but I see your point. We better get moving. Man, I'm a lousy tour guide. Are you ready to learn the secrets of the mortal afterlife? Yes, I think I'd like that.
Welcome to the gateway from the mortal realm to the underworld. This is where mortals come when they die. Where they must make their final descent towards judgment. Hmm. Right. Um, it looks like a lobby. <laughs> where are the dead bodies? <laughs> Hmm, that's not exactly what we do here. Mm. We need to get changed into mortal realm attire before we enter. Huh? You're from the mortal realm, you know the drill. But why does it matter? They're dead. Mortals who have recently arrived in the afterlife can be... delicate. If they see something they don't understand, they may become hysterical. Hmm? It's better to ease them into it. I don't have anything suitable to wear with me. Oh, that's not a problem. The woman at the counter through there will sort you out. See you on the other side. Uh, okay. I kind of lied about double booking myself. I need to get this limited edition jacket. Only three are being made. Ooh, it's finally starting! I'm talking to her first! Just because you're screwing the boss doesn't mean you get to just push in! You're just salty because you're not getting laid! Please, Gaia, not the brats. Can you please explain to me why that little pink bimbo is now employed here? And why does Hades have to show her around? And she's working in the library? I'm not finished. It seems pretty sketchy to me that she's not only suddenly employed here, but also has a coveted position. Please, Daddy, I want a job I'm totally unqualified for. Sure thing, kitten. And I hear she was raised in the mortal realm. She's probably no smarter than an entry-level shade. <laughs> Are you both quite finished yet? Minthy... Whatever you and Hades do outside work doesn't affect my decision-making process. I asked Hades to take Persephone on a tour because we need to do damage control after that incident in Tower 4. Huh? This is a place of work, not a high school fucking prom! Okay? Got it! Thanatos... You could, at the very least, wipe the baglava crumbs off your jacket before you complain about her. Oh. Minthy, you're excused. I need to talk to Thanatos privately. <sighs> Fine by me! Wait! Uh, hello. Could I please get a change of clothes? Size? Small, medium, please. We have small. We have medium. Which one is it? <clears throat> M medium. Oh, thank you. Just don't lose them. It will come out of your pay. Okay, will do. Okay, now, how could I possibly lose my clothes? <sighs> of course he has a girlfriend. What did I think was gonna happen? I'm not even allowed to date, so why does it matter? <sighs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> hmm? Uh, hello? Are you okay? I'm just... <laughs> I'm just having a bad day. <laughs> Did you want to talk about it? I can't believe it. Why would he choose her? Um, hello? Are you alright? I'm just having a bad day. Did you want to talk about it? Oh, it's her. The goddess from the tabloid. 
It's stupid. I'm embarrassed about crying. I'm sure it's not stupid. <laughs> the guy I like has started dating someone else. I found out this morning. Yep. That bite's a big one. Men are complicated. <sighs> yep. Don't have to tell me twice. Well, he clearly doesn't deserve a rare beauty such as you. <laughs> Is that a rental? Yeah, I didn't know I'd be dealing with mortals today. We're kind of the same size. You can borrow something from me if you want. <laughs> This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Mm. I'm supposed to be putting space between us. She makes everything so easy, though. No, no. Self-control. I have self-control. <laughs> I'm an all-powerful god. Hmm? I've got to get my shit together. I have a strong handle over my impulses. There you are. Look, I'm a fury. No. I'm here to punish you. Uh. Grrr. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd known you had a taste for punishment, I would have given you a different job. <laughs> Wait, what? But I thought heck you'd assign my role. Ha, <laughs> nope. I'm the mastermind behind that choice. I'm afraid homemade business cards don't really fit our corporate branding, though. Shade coordinator. You don't like it? I is it the embossing? Hmm. Hades. What if I can't do it? What? Okay, so it's pure fact that you're smarter than Hermes and Thanatos combined. And you're clearly very powerful. You made a forest in a place where nothing is meant to live. Do you really think I'm powerful? <laughs> I, for one, find you terrifying. <laughs> On that note, how are things going with your powers? Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> you're flying. What? A nymph in a public relationship with a god? How the fuck did that tricky slut manage that? I taught Minthi everything she knows. How can she be doing better than me? I... I need to step up my game. Crap. I forgot his family was coming in today. What a perfect family. I'll have to fix that. Previously on Lore Olympus. shake the vision from the other day. My visions aren't always correct, but they are most of the time. So, who was it? It couldn't have been Hades. We're ready! One doesn't need the power of visions to see how she feels about him. It's unmistakable. <laughs> hey! Mm. Hmm. What do you think of Apollo? <laughs> this is going to come in handy. Looks like you're really getting the hang of it. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have
have to crane my neck to speak with you anymore. I like the embroidery on this. This is a good look for you. Hmm. Do you get back to the mortal realm very often? I try to avoid it when I can. Hmm? I'm not exactly a fan favorite. Be gone, unseen one! I, I just came to inspect that volcano. Ah! Right. It just seems unfair to me. Oh, don't you worry about me. Mortals might not pray to me or build temples in my name, but once they die, they're all in service to the underworld for the rest of eternity. The rest of eternity? Hey. Huh? Are you ready? This is it. Where the mortal realm meets the afterlife. Huh? This area is called Acheron, but we call it the beach. We have to whisper here because the shades are new. We don't want to disturb them. Mm-hmm. That's where Hermes and Thanatos bring in the new souls. Who's that man on the shore? That's Charon, the ferryman of the dead. He takes shades on his boat for the price of a single obel. But what happens if they don't have money? Then they have to wait on the shores of Acheron for 100 years. Hades, that's terrible. I didn't get rich passing out free boat rides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look, it sticks. Huh? She's the underworld's most powerful river. She carries all the boats further into the underworld for judgment. And that's where I come in. <sighs> hmm. Flying is much more tiring than I realized. <laughs> oh, beautiful and divine fertility goddess. <clears throat> Please, answer the prayers of a dead man. Apology, sir, but I am not a fertility. Please help my family's farm grow. Uh, please, divine one, bless my son's wife to have many healthy births. The same for my daughter. I want her marriage to go well. You might want to talk to your mother about the whole fertility goddess thing. <sighs> what do I think of Apollo? Hmm. He's hardworking, handsome, talented. Reminds me of a younger me. Why do you ask? I was just thinking about my vision. Ah, this again? I thought we were done with this. I know what I felt. <sighs> that may be so, but you don't have any proof. I... I'm not sure, but... I think it was Apollo. Don't complete that statement! You're not even going to hear me out? You can't just say stuff like that based off of a hunch. A vision! Look, can we please just go to lunch? I'm starving. Why is it so easy for you to defend him? Apollo is doing really well as an Olympian. The mortals love him. Suppose you're right. Then what? His reputation is ruined. Mm -hmm. People will second guess our ability to select Olympians. For what? Some upset over a B-grade goddess from the mortal realm that no one's ever heard of? Just leave it for now. You'll feel better after lunch. <coughs> this is where we retrain shades to do different jobs. Most have the capacity for doing entry-level factory work. 
People often expect me to have a fearless army of the undead, but I much prefer the financial benefits of ongoing unpaid labor. Hmm. I said I prefer the financial benefits of ongoing unpaid labor. That's great. I knew it. You're not listening. <laughs> do you want to do this another time? Oh, no, 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 no. I I'm paying attention. It's probably not my place to say this, but you don't have anything to be embarrassed about. There's nothing wrong with being a fertility goddess. You don't know that's true. The mortals might be wrong. And why would my mother hide something like that from me? Maybe she thought she was doing you a favor? Mm -hmm. ah. Well, aren't you one of the goddesses of eternal maidenhood? Hmm? It's a little contradictory for a fertility goddess to be a virgin for all eternity. Mm -hmm. So, you know about that, huh? Sorry, it's in your transcript. Ah, my scholarship. Hmm. What I mean to say is... If being an eternal maiden was a goal for you... Maybe your mother didn't want to discourage you. Hmm? I'm not an authority in regards to fertility goddesses or vows of celibacy. You need to talk to your mother. If you truly are a fertility goddess, it's dangerous for you to be in certain areas of the underworld. Really? Oh, oh, don't don't worry. Just stay away from Tower 4 until we get to the... I'm not sure how to put this. Uh, you mentioned before that you had been grabbed several times. <laughs> I know you're perfectly capable of looking out for yourself. I mean, you've got Artemis, and she's pretty scary. Oh. Hey, it's fine. Go on. But if you ever feel you're in danger, I would help you. If that's what you wanted. Um... Uh, I kind of do, actually. Yeah. I'm sorry. I need to mind my own business. Uh, oh, you said yes?! Well, it's just like how it says on my business card. Hit the ground twice to summon me. How will you know it's me? <laughs> Trust me, I'll always know when it's you. <sighs> this is really nice of you to offer. morning, you acted like you didn't want to know me. And now you're offering to help me at the drop of a dime. <coughs> oh, um, let me make it up to you. This model isn't on the market yet. Uh. Hades, no, 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 you don't have to give me anything. Hmm. I just don't need the emotional whiplash. I'd like to know where I stand with you. We're friends, right? Yes, of course. I get you're my boss now, and maybe our dynamic has to change a little. Just let me know what your boundaries are. I know sometimes I can be a little too friendly. It's just weird for me going out into the world and not having a hand to hold. I'm still getting used to sleeping on my own. Uh. Oh, no, 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 not like that, no, uh. In the mortal realm, the flower nymphs and I used to work all day in the fields. Afterwards, we would swim all evening, then fall asleep together under the stars. Everyone is more conservative with their affection here. 
Which is totally fine. I'm still getting the hang of it, though. I literally have no idea why you would want to be here. Well, flower nymphs are nice. But if I have to participate in one more berry picking contest, I think I'll kill somebody. But yeah, you don't have to ice me out if you need space. Can I ask you something? How did you end up at Tower 4? Hmm. Hello, this is Minthy. You available to reschedule for Hades meeting for, I don't know, 12.30 on Friday? I know this is the third time I've moved it! Well, something came up! Or someone. How much time does he need to show her around? They should have been back hours ago. What if she narks on me about the pet directions I gave her? I just wanted to send her on a wild goose chase. That's all. How was I supposed to know all those shades would freak out? He'll be furious if he finds out. Maybe I should call Thetis. She always knows what to do. Having a shit day? Meet me in the Tower 1 Level 5 Supply Closet. <sighs> Guess I better deal with this. Minthy? Is that you? Who else would it be? You're already pissing me off. Hmm. How did you end up at Tower 4? Hmm. That nymph. a weighted feeling in my chest. I've been jealous before. But not like this. There's venom behind it. I wonder how long they've known each other. How did they meet? Do they go on dates? Does she own a hair comb identical to the one he gave me? I want to know, even though each answer would come with a sting. I could tell him the truth. What the hell is wrong with you, Minthy? What the hell is wrong what with you me? Think you're doing? Oh, no, no. Get her in trouble. Maybe she would even get fired. Would they break up? <laughs> I don't like feeling this way. This place is big. I just got all turned around. Hmm. I don't understand why you're lying. I'd rather leave it for another day. Hmm. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You're just lucky I'm not cashing in my anytime, any place personal question. <laughs> Proper committed relationship now. Hmm. Huh. Really? I'm just trying to make better life choices. 
choices, which includes not randomly making out with you. <sighs> Sorry. Hmm. We can still do snarky chat. Ah, oh, but what is snarky chat? Snarky chat is an ongoing Facebook message conversation which is shared by Thanatos, Minthi, and Thetis. Snarky Chat was established approximately eight months ago for the express purpose of talking shit about other people. Look at this disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking tragic. Do you think we should tell her? I want to know how that bow is still staying on. Hot glue. Y yeah, we can still do Snarky Chat. Thanks for understanding. Oh, stop it. Again, sorry. Sorry you decided to be boring. I was going to tell her about what I saw. But she seems happy. If I tell her now, she'll probably think it's coming from a place of jealousy. Hey, so we need to do something about Persephone. I'm surprised you're not ten feet up her ass like everyone else at the moment. Oh, please. She's just another poser from Olympus who thinks she's better than the rest of us. Well, the special treatment she's getting is ridiculous. I know, right? She's even got Hecate wrapped around her little finger. <coughs> I have to wear that punishment shirt all week because of what I said. <sighs> There's something up with her, and I can't put my finger on it. Right? You take note of anything you think would be useful. I'll make sure to do some digging. I hate your stupid little man bun. Mm. <laughs> mm. Where are you going? To stomp on a pest. 